In this video, we are going to tackle the question of what is WebRTC and why would you want to use it in 2023 or 24, 25, whenever you are listening to this. And that second question is a little bit loaded because you'll know that you need it. The question you'll struggle with will be more, why should I use this instead of the Zoom SDK or something like that? So I've got the docs pulled up here. This is MDN, and it says WebRTC, which stands for Web Real-Time Communication, is a technology that enables web applications, so that's thing one. WebRTC, which has web in the, in the name, is for browsers. And sites to capture and optionally stream audio and or video media, as well as exchange arbitrary data between browsers without requiring an intermediary. So I am going to draw two clients, one on the left and one on the right. I know they are not very good, but they are supposed to be laptops. Uh, <laughs> like I said in the, the whiteboarding video, work with me here. But WebRTC is so valuable because what we are able to do is do a peer-to-peer -peer connection. So browser on the left is able to make a connection with browser on the right, and they are able to pass data back and forth without the need of a server. Okay? And that's normally how things would work. You'd have to pass from, from the client on the left to the server, and then the server would send it up to the client on the right, and then it would work in reverse. WebRTC eliminates this huge problem of an intermediary, which is going to introduce latency, meaning the connection is going to be slower because it has to go through a server. It's another point of failure, which means more bugs, more potential security risks, another server, which is going to cost more money, etc. And you can distill it down to one browser talking to another browser. So that is an incredible win and it's going to be better on pretty much every front than whatever else is out there. If you've got a browser and you want to send data to another browser and UDP is an acceptable transport, this is going to be as fast as you're going to be able to, to get. So I'm going to break down the question that we've got here. What is WebRTC? And we're going to, we're going to treat it in two different parts at this point in the course. It will, it will be helpful to think about it this way. On the left-hand side, we're going to have the get user media, and on the right, we are going to have RTC peer connection. Okay, those are the two pieces, at least that, that I'm, I'm breaking it down into, that WebRTC is. Get user media on the left means that the browser can access the camera, the microphone, and the screen. Okay, and we can do a ton of cool stuff with that. And that will be the first thing that we do in the first project is interact with that stuff, the API that's now built into the browser. The other side, the RTC peer connection, that's literally a constructor in, in WebRTC. This gives us that ability to stream. RTC peer connection is going to stream this stuff. And we're going to use get user media to get it. That is what WebRTC is in an absolute nutshell. If we come back over to the docs quick, you'll see here that it says not only can we stream audio and video media, but we can also exchange arbitrary data. So is this replacing WebSockets or Socket.io? The answer is no, and the reason it's not is because it is UDP-based. We'll talk about this a little bit later when we, when we get to this uh, peer connection part. But UDP is incredibly fast and it's incredibly unreliable, as opposed to TCP, which you're probably used to working with. That's what HTTP and WebSockets are based on. The really short version of this, and again, we'll talk about it later, you would never pass data that needed to be in the right order, that needed acknowledgement, that needed verification, etc., because UDP doesn't do those things. UDP is meant to be fast, which is what you want for real-time communication. So typically, what you will pass is going to be this type of stuff because that's stuff that you want to know right now what's on the other person's camera. You want to know right now what's on the other person's mic. If there's a blip in the, in the latency or if their connection goes down and it comes back up, you don't want to pick up where you left off because you'll always be a minute behind or five minutes behind or whatever. You want to know what's happening right now. So WebSockets and WebRTC do not compete with each other. They are used usually at the same time. At least we're going to, we're going to use them at the same time in most cases. They complement each other very well, one being UDP network traffic and the other being TCP.